the best way to get better at programming is to practice. So in this example, we want to calculate the running total of the number of steps someone has given. That is, we're going to keep on counting until they enter zero. Take a minute, work on this project. If you don't have this file, you can, of course, download it from a link provided below in the description. You can pause this video and then check your answer when you're done. All right, let's get started here. Okay, so the things that we need to do is we need to create a running total. So I'm going to have a running total. And I'm going to set it initially equal to zero. That's because no steps are taken when we start. Next, we're going to create an input. I'm going to call it steps equals int input how many steps did you take? Okay, so it's a very simple question. Then we're gonna say while steps is greater than zero, this is our condition that we have. So it's gonna keep doing this over and over and over. Well, what's it gonna do? Well, it's gonna take running total plus equals steps. With a condition, we always need to update the value that we're checking our condition on. Otherwise, we get an infinite loop. How am I going to do that? Well, I need to ask the user how many steps did they take again. So I'm going to copy this that I had before. I might update this just a little bit. Put in something like enter zero to exit. So this will go in, get the new number of steps, if the steps is greater than zero, eight says running total plus equal steps, then it asks for how many steps they take again. And it just repeats this process over and over and over again. When the person finally enters zero, it's gonna end this, and we need to print out a running total. So print, you took a total of running total, steps. Notice I use just a comma. I'm going to let it handle all the spaces for me, things like that. Okay, so let's run this real quick. How many steps did I take? And let's say I took 5,500. How many steps did I take? It was a small day. I made up for it. I really made up for it. Okay, so I did a couple of steps. I type in zero, and then it now tells me, you took a total of, and it gives me my value. That's a great thing. Now the question is, what happens if I want to go a little bit further? What else could I do? Well, let's say I want to calculate the average number of steps I took. How would I do that? I'm going to add one new variable called days, and I'm going to set it equal to zero as well. This is going to be a counter to keep track of how many days that I take steps for. So every time I go through and process steps, I'm going to increment this counter day by day by day, each time I run through this while loop. Then, after I print out the total number of steps, I'm going to print as an average of, and I'll do running total divided by days. Do a clear screen for my terminal window. Run it. How many steps did I take? I'm going to give it just some values and zero. I took a total of, and it's an average of, gives me a number of steps per day. Now, I was pretty lucky. I actually got something that gave me a whole value. That's pretty cool. If I didn't, and I could have easily gotten some other value in there, if I didn't get a whole number like that, maybe I want to look at doing something like using the round function, or maybe I want to use a format function. That way I can limit the number of steps I have. Or I can put a comma so that my number looks a little better. I always want to be thinking about how can I improve the way something looks. And so using things like rounding and format 
are great ways to do that. But this gives me a good start for how to use a loop to keep track of a running total.